everyone, and we're back. My name is the Scarlet Tanager, and we're playing some Metal Gear Solid 2. I'm trying some different settings on the emulator. Hopefully, it works a little bit better. I'm not using the PC version because I don't want to pay for another copy of the game. I already have two. So, because apparently you can get the PC versions of Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 off of GOG. But I prefer physical copies anyway. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tank? So, we're just going to try some different settings. Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark. A symbol of environmental protection. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> at the big shell is scheduled approximately six hours ago the big shell was seized by an armed group do we have an id former members of the navy seal special anti-terrorist training squad dead cell dun, dun, dun. private army members may also be involved it's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control Totally snake, guys! <laughs> totally snake! Come in from downwind and pull up fast. Get ready to fast rope down to shell one. Five minutes to ETA. Now for your top priorities are Five minutes to ETA, they're right there though. <laughs> Bruh. Demands. Thirty billion dollars. Thirty billion dollars. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a Don't worry about it. It's fine. tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? The James president! Johnson. The president? <gasps> Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. Sure it will. <laughs> well, it's already working better, that's you good. You have two mission objectives. One. Infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility. facility. Big shell! <laughs> Safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. This'll be fine. This'll be fine. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your- Foxhound doesn't exist that anymore! An order. At least it's not supposed to. <laughs> this is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? Do 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 Pretty do this with them. During that calls. <laughs> Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team? Sure it is! They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. This will be fine. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. <laughs> it's just VR. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.5. I miss the colonel. When you want <laughs> to use the, the codec, <clears throat> what? push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you the codec will beep when you hear that noise 
Press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? An elevator, obviously, bruh. There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that the makes texture sense. isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. At least it doesn't have a jacket, like Ocelot. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit? Seems appropriate somehow. Because it looks like a skull in bones. <laughs> The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Okay. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. I'm sure this is fine. I'm sure this is fine. Cartwheel! <laughs> no guns for me. Weapons? I don't need weapons. Who needs weapons? Not me. I don't need weapons. Who needs weapons? I don't need weapons. Ew, gross! The grossness. I feel like I'm missing something. I remember there being something in this room. Maybe it's just the ration that I'm thinking of. I do need a gun, though. No guns for me. I don't get to have nice things. Uh, g game? Game. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is fine. Controls are still a little slippery. But it's doable. Sneak, 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 sneak. Vaguely remember a gun. I can't remember when you get the gun. Probably later. Okay, let's go. I'm sure this will be fine. I can just beat the shit out of somebody. It's like, cartwheel! Oh shit! <laughs> I did that on purpose. <gasps> that sounded like a snack! Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses takeover group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? Don't worry about they it, it's fine. They made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Uh, back to the there we go. Just double checking. I don't have a radar. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> With my lack of radar. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's Snake! <gasps> it's ya dude! It's ya boy! It's ya boy. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We yeah, okay. Get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. 
There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Really, Not bro? Nerd. Node. Oh. <laughs> Use the node. Why is such a nerd? The Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system. He's such a newbie. Uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS blah, 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 and blah, field blah. personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high. Should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. Yeah, okay. The nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Okay. Got it. I'm sure I'll be fine. Well, that's rude. <laughs> well, that's rude. Login successful. Okay. Uh, my name is is Scarlet. Okay. Scar. Fuck. That's not my name. <laughs> I spelled my own name wrong. Uh. There we go. Scarlet. Uh. Uh. Yes? Yes. Okay. I am female. My birth date. This. Uh. J -j 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 there we go. Birth date. Blood type. Oh, nationality USA. That's me. Blood off. Oh, I'm offended. I'm offended that that was a question. Good work, Ryden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. I'm aware. I've played all of these games your to radar death. <laughs> isn't affected by the weather. But if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. What does that you phrase even mean? Currently existing technology. Resonance, so be careful. The big shells layout map should now be available after touching the start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? Uh -oh. What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is You don't spring on? this on right. people. Meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. And she's also your girlfriend. The foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Yep. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see. I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. 
I mean, he has the right to be pissed. It was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Whoa. This is a shitty thing to do to your Someone boyfriend. Watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle you think they would have hashed this out before the this? Of the mission. Could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know she fucks up and calls him Jack all the time. <laughs> the proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this entire this entire thing in this game. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. See, completely ignores the colonel telling him, they're telling her to call him Raiden. Um, and then spends the entire game giving him shit for not remembering their anniversary. Like, bro. Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. I don't know if this is good enough. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. Okay, I'm gonna just hide in here. I'm gonna just hide. I'm gonna just hide in here. This is fine. <laughs> I'll just hide here for the next 20 years. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. Oh, there's the epimolator. That's cool. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. Bum, 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 Okay. He nicely closes the door. Okay. So now I have two of them in there, which is great. gonna get around these nerds. That works! <laughs> uh, bye! <laughs> Can I have a gun now, please? Can I have a tranquilizer? I want to put people to sleep. I like putting people to sleep. Keeps them out of my way. You might want to keep that. No? The You're gonna need it later. Sons of liberty. <laughs> sons of liberty? You're gonna need it later, bro. <laughs> Their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right. But he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. He's not dead, though. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Except he did. Except he totally Colonel, did. I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training, after all. 
Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the President? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? Ah, the old Kojima cutscenes. <laughs> cutscenes for the days. Oh my god. I can't have nice things with recording this, can I? Central core and Jesus six Christ. Struts surrounding. <laughs> So the whole thing there is shaped go. like two hexagons <laughs> connected end on end. Exactly. I cannot and have nice things, I swear to God. A. Shell one at the moment. Bum, bum, bum. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. I never had any trouble recording Xenosaga, and Xenosaga is a game that came out quite a bit after this. <laughs> but nope, this game, fuck it. <laughs> Can I have a gun now, please? Ah, tits. Get the M9 first. Okay. Ew. Ew, bird poop. <laughs> Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? Nope. They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command. Bullshit. And the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Okay. Okay, it's later. <laughs> I remember there being claymores on the roof of uh, Strat A at some point. I just can't remember. It, it's later. It must be later. Dum 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 dum. <gasps> I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. I need a gun. Please. Please. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. Ah, tutorials. Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. Ah, <laughs> oh, the fourth wall breaking in this game. This is fine. Where am I going? Can I go over here yet? No. Oh, yeah, the girl! <laughs> Take a picture of her snake! I mean, what? <laughs> okay, A, B connecting bridge. I'm on strut A and I need to go to strut B because that's where the... That's where my dooter is. Uh-oh. Uh. Can I have a gun, please? <laughs> nah, I get, I get one in a bit. It'll be fine. Right and watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. Obviously. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? <laughs> Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. Don't forget. He's so game. intense in his answering these silly questions. <laughs> and once it runs oh. out, you will fall. Copy that. Wait a second. 
I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. But why? So we just I mean, I know in. why, but... I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. For now. Good work. <laughs> Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy! Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, cover the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy! Is that... It's a vampire man! <laughs> it's a vampire man. All Alpha, respond! Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to strut B now. Don't tell me what to do, Dad. <laughs> I do what I want. This is gonna end well. Bro, I need you to turn around. Thank you. Okay. I know you can also drop down from hanging mode, and I couldn't remember if that was the action button or what it was, and I was like, please, please don't, please don't fall. Because then I'd have to, you know, replay stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's blood. So much blood. Casper. <laughs> I'm sure this is fine. still some, you know, alive Navy SEALs. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> there was. <laughs> wow, shooting into nowhere, bro. Gross. Stabby, stabby. He's a little busy right now. He's just a little busy. Just a smidge. Just a scotch. Hi, vamp! He, he's not even moving. He's just standing there and the guy's just like, spray and pray. Doesn't even look around to find him. Hi, vamp. Well, he did. You're so mean, vamp. Can't you lighten up a bit, bruh? <laughs> it's nasty. Lots of blood. We're all dead, bro. Lots of dead Marines. What's going on? Like, no, wait, Navy. Good SEAL Team 10 is Navy? Or SEAL Team 10 Marines? I don't know, man. I'm not in the military. <laughs> I don't know how things are spread out. <laughs> well, that's not very nice of that corpse writing. Raiden's mean to corpses confirmed. Can I have a gun, please? Be nice. Take one of theirs. They're not using them. <gasps> it's nasty. It's 
gross. <laughs> Please don't kill what me. Are you? He has a dick dagger. <laughs> Sensual dick dagger. Cool. Five today. Okay. Six. We'll kill you later. Not right now, though. Game says no. Get, down. Get him, totally not snake. He's gone. By the power of plot, he is gone. Now get ready for the best code name or the best name Where coming up. He? Sort of God. Sup? Offended that you got jumped that easily, Snake. Mm, strange smell. Again, I'm offended you got caught that easily, Snake. You I mean, not Snake. Likes. I mean, totally not Snake. It has to be. <gasps> Shoot him! What are you waiting for? No, you had to have Raiden had to have his Meryl moment. Getting right. Nope, you gone. <laughs> Again, vanished by the power of plot. <laughs> the power of plot is strong with Vamp. Power of plot is strong with him. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. You sure about that? You sure about that, bro? <laughs> My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant His Pliskin. name means Snake Snake. His name means Snake Snake. <laughs> He's so blatantly obviously Snake. His name is Snake Snake. <laughs> snake Snake. <laughs> How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Bullshit. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? Maybe. That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? Rude. <laughs> I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21. That's about tactical IT development. Ah, cutscenes and Metal Gear games. <laughs> Any field experience? Nope. No, not really. He has more so than your first. He has more than he lets on. Extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. No. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. No, it's not. A virtual grunt of the digital age. That's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. No, it's you not. You injured in VR, do you? Every year, a few soldiers die in field exercises. 
There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. Yep. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? And people say pol games aren't political, and then they forget about Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid is so political. So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Yes. Among other things. Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. You would know all about that, wouldn't you? Not what about Snake. The president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. Hmm. <laughs> a little too late for that. Just a smidge. Just a scotch. Take a look. Uh-oh. What the hell? A Navy captain. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. <laughs> He's bullshitting right and so hard right now. <laughs> what was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak. That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created. How many by hours of cutscenes are we gonna get? Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. Sure! The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. No, he didn't. No, he didn't! <laughs> you mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tank. Oh, Snake. <laughs> but he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> There's somebody else who has an exact genetic code. I saw Russian equipment. Of course too. enough. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? Nope. And you came in alone to boot? Yep. Why? Nobody tells me shit. What are you really doing here? Rescuing the president, obviously. Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. <laughs> it absolutely can, which is the funny part. <laughs> Take this, too. But... But I need an M9! I think I missed it. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? No. The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? 
I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Except Snake also has nanos in him, but whatever. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Calls that it's a code name immediately. Parents gave me. Ha! Jack. Maybe I'll find out someday. Like Snake's name is David, which is the same name as his voice actor. Ah, Snake's bullshitting him right now. <laughs> Hold up. I believe the M. See, there's diff multiple ways you can get the M9. I think there's one version, like one difficulty where you get it automatically. There's another difficulty where you get it in the submersible area. And then, like when you first start as Raiden. And then there's. I, I can't remember if on normal it's in that submersible area or it's in Strut F. I'm vaguely remembering it potentially in Strut F. So I'm just going to go with that. And also, I've been recording 40 minutes, so I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> uh, Metal Gear cutscenes. My name is Miss Curry Teenager, and I have been playing some Metal Gear Solid 2. I'll see you all in the next video.